scene script. Have you ever wondered why it becomes harder to focus on close objects as you age? It's a common phenomenon known as presbyopia, a normal part of the aging process that usually starts to become noticeable for people over 40 years of age. Presbyopia is an eye condition that affects our ability to focus on near objects. Over time, the lens in our eyes, which is naturally flexible, begins to harden and lose its deformability. This hardening of the lens, coupled with a decrease in the strength of the muscles that control it, results in a diminished ability to accommodate or adjust to varying distances, particularly for objects that are close to us. To put it simply, think of the lens in your eye as a camera lens. When you're young, the lens is flexible and can easily adjust focus between objects that are near and far. But as we age, this lens becomes stiffer, much like a camera lens that's lost its flexibility. This loss of flexibility makes it harder for the lens to adjust and focus on near objects. This change in the lens's ability to accommodate is gradual. At around age 10, the accommodative power of the lens is about 14 diopters. By the time we reach age 40, this power diminishes to around three and a half diopters. This means that images of close objects are no longer focused onto the retina, but rather they fall behind it, a situation similar to hyperopia or long-sightedness. If you're initially emetropic, which means your eye is normal and has no refractive error, you may find yourself starting to hold reading material farther away, even though your distance vision remains unaffected. If you were initially myopic, or short-sighted, you might find it easier to read without your distance glasses. And if you were initially hyperopic or long-sighted, you might notice the symptoms of presbyopia occurring earlier. Presbyopia is a natural part of aging, but there are ways we can manage its effects. And that's what we'll explore in the next part of this video. Stick around as we delve into the ways to manage presbyopia and some lifestyle adjustments that can help you navigate this natural change in your vision. So, how can we manage the effects of presbyopia? Well, the first step to managing presbyopia is regular eye exams. These exams are important as they allow your eye care professional to detect any vision issues, including presbyopia, early on. This early detection can pave the way for timely intervention and better management of the condition. Now let's talk about corrective lenses. Reading glasses, bifocals or progressive lenses can all be used to correct near vision. The type of lens you choose would typically depend on your specific vision needs. For instance, reading glasses can be helpful for near tasks, but you will need to remove them for distance vision. Bifocals, trifocals or progressive multifocals on the other hand, have different powers for distance, middle and close-up vision, providing a more versatile solution. If you're someone who spends a significant amount of time on digital devices, computer glasses might be worth considering. These glasses are designed to reduce eye strain and improve focus on computer screens, making them a great tool for managing the effects of presbyopia in today's digital age. Proper lighting is another factor to consider. Good lighting reduces eye strain and makes it easier to focus on near objects. So ensure you have adequate lighting when reading or working on close tasks. This brings us to our next point, workstation adjustment. If you work on a computer, make sure to position the screen at eye level and at a comfortable distance. Adjusting the font size to make it easier to read can also go a long way in managing presbyopia. Last but not least, regular eye exercises can be beneficial. These exercises can help maintain flexibility in your eyes by focusing on objects at different distances and doing eye stretches. They are designed to strengthen the muscles that control the lens and improve the flexibility of the eye. Corrective lenses can be a big help, but there are also other measures we can take. Remember, managing presbyopia is not just about correcting your vision, but also about making lifestyle adjustments that can help reduce its impact on your daily life. Beyond corrective lenses, what other measures can we take to manage presbyopia? With this question in mind, let's delve into some lifestyle adjustments that can significantly help manage this age-related eye condition. A crucial, yet often overlooked factor is the importance of good lighting when performing close tasks. Whether it's reading your favorite book, knitting, or even cooking, proper lighting can reduce the strain on your eyes and make it easier to focus on near objects. By optimizing your lighting conditions, you're not only creating a more comfortable environment for your eyes, but also slowing down the progression of presbyopia. Next, let's consider your work environment. 
If you're among the millions who spend a significant part of their day in front of a computer screen, a well-adjusted workstation can make a world of difference. It's not just about comfort, it's also about eye health. Position your computer screen at eye level and maintain a comfortable viewing distance. This reduces the strain on your eyes and the muscles that control them. And don't forget to adjust the font size to make it easier to read. Small adjustments like these can have a big impact on managing the effects of presbyopia. Lastly, let's talk about eye exercises. Yes, just like the rest of your body, your eyes need regular exercise too. By performing eye exercises that focus on objects at different distances and include eye stretches, you can maintain the flexibility and strength of your eye muscles. Remember, presbyopia results from a loss of flexibility in the eye's lens and weakening of the muscles that control it. Regular eye exercises can help counteract these changes and slow down the progression of presbyopia. So, there you have it. While presbyopia may be an unavoidable part of aging, it doesn't mean we can't take steps to manage its effects. By optimizing our lighting, adjusting our workstations, and incorporating eye exercises into our daily routine, we can slow down the progression of presbyopia and reduce its impact on our daily lives. By taking these steps, we can slow down the progression of presbyopia and reduce its impact on our daily lives. Having discussed lifestyle adjustments, let's now turn our attention to another crucial yet often overlooked aspect of managing presbyopia, our diet. A well-balanced, nutritious diet rich in vitamins and minerals is not only beneficial for overall health, but it also plays a significant role in maintaining eye health. Certain nutrients, particularly vitamins A, C and E, along with minerals like zinc, have been found to protect the lens of the eye from oxidative damage. This, in turn, can delay the onset of presbyopia. These essential nutrients can be obtained from a variety of fruits and vegetables. For instance, citrus fruits are a great source of vitamin C, while carrots and sweet potatoes are packed with vitamin A. Nuts and seeds, on the other hand, are excellent sources of vitamin E and zinc. But what if your diet is not providing enough of these nutrients? In such cases, taking supplements may be a viable option. However, it's always best to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any supplement regimen. In addition to these, certain other nutrients, such as omega-3 fatty acids and lutein, may also benefit your eye health. Foods rich in these nutrients include fatty fish like salmon and leafy green vegetables. Remember, a healthy diet not only provides the nutrients your eyes need to function properly, but also helps maintain a healthy weight reducing the risk of other health problems that could potentially affect your eyes. So, the next time you're planning your meals, keep your eyes in mind. By incorporating these nutritional approaches into our daily routine, we're taking yet another step towards managing the effects of presbyopia effectively. In the previous scenes, we've explored the role of lifestyle adjustments and diet in managing presbyopia. Now let's delve into another crucial aspect that could significantly affect your eye health, smoking. It's no secret that smoking is detrimental to our overall health, but did you know that it could also increase your risk of developing eye diseases, including those affecting your vision? Yes, you heard it right. Studies have shown that smoking may accelerate the onset of presbyopia and other age-related eye conditions. This is because tobacco smoke can cause oxidative stress and inflammation in the eyes, damaging the lens and other components. Additionally, smoking can constrict the blood vessels, reducing the blood flow to the eyes and depriving them of essential nutrients and oxygen. But there's good news. Quitting smoking can slow down the progression of presbyopia and even reverse some of the damage caused. It's never too late to quit. If you're finding it challenging to quit, don't hesitate to seek help. There are numerous resources available, including counselling services, nicotine replacement therapies and support groups that can provide you with the necessary tools and encouragement. Remember, every cigarette you don't smoke is doing your eyes a huge favour. By quitting smoking, you're not just improving your overall health, but also preserving your vision. So, let's extinguish that cigarette and light up the path to better eye health. In the previous scenes, we've discussed various lifestyle adjustments and nutritional approaches to manage presbyopia. Now let's talk about something that has become an integral part of our lives, screens. In this digital age, we find ourselves glued to screens more than ever, whether it's your computer at work, your smartphone during breaks, or your television at home. But did you know? 
prolonged screen time can contribute to eye strain, dryness and discomfort, potentially exacerbating the symptoms of presbyopia. So, what can we do about it? Enter the 2020 rule. Curious? This rule is a simple yet effective way to reduce eye strain caused by screens. Here's how it works. Every 20 minutes, take a 20 second break and look at something 20 feet away. This practice allows your eyes to relax and refocus, thus reducing the risk of digital eye strain. Remember, it's not just about limiting screen time, but also about giving your eyes the much needed breaks they deserve. So next time you're engrossed in your screen, don't forget the 20-20-20 rule. Let's make screen hygiene a habit for the sake of our eye health. After we've discussed the importance of screen hygiene for eye health, let's delve into a more clinical approach to managing presbyopia. Prescription medications can play a vital role in managing the symptoms associated with this condition. But how? Eye doctors may recommend prescription medications or eye drops to help your eye muscles focus better or to alleviate dryness and discomfort. Just remember, it is crucial to follow your doctor's instructions when using these medications. Misuse or overuse could lead to other eye problems. Also, keep in mind that these medications are not a cure for presbyopia, but a way to manage its symptoms. Every person is unique, and so is their response to medications. Hence, it's important to maintain regular checkups with your eye doctor to monitor your condition and adjust the treatment plan if required. So, while lifestyle adjustments and proper nutrition form the cornerstone of managing presbyopia, prescription medications can provide the extra helping hand when needed. Moving from prescription medications, let's now explore another advanced option for managing presbyopia, refractive surgeries. These surgeries like LASIK or lens replacement could be a viable option for some individuals depending on their overall eye health and specific conditions. But what exactly are these surgeries? LASIK, or laser-assisted in situ keratomeleusis, is a procedure that alters the shape of the cornea to improve vision. Lens replacement surgery, on the other hand, involves replacing the eye's natural lens with an artificial one. Both procedures aim to correct the refractive error caused by presbyopia. However, it's essential to note that these surgeries are not suitable for everyone. Your eye doctor will be able to advise if you're a good candidate for refractive surgery based on your medical history, age, and the severity of your presbyopia. As with all surgeries, there are potential risks and benefits, so it's crucial to have a thorough discussion with your doctor before making a decision. Remember, managing presbyopia is about finding the right balance between lifestyle adjustments, nutritional approaches, prescription medications, and possibly refractive surgery. Before we wrap up, we'd love for you to join our community here at MedSign Health 360. We strive to bring you the most updated, vital, and comprehensive health and medical knowledge, broken down into easily digestible videos. If you found this video on managing presbyopia helpful, please give it a thumbs up to support our channel. Your likes and comments help us reach more people who might benefit from these videos, contributing to a healthier, more informed society. Remember, our channel is a treasure trove of information covering a wide range of health topics. So hit the subscribe button now and stay updated on the latest in health and medical knowledge. As we always say, better knowledge for better health and a better life. Thank you for your support.